Anybody in the chat room old enough to remember this? We used to have block parties. Block off a car, uh, block off a section of a car, your neighborhood with a car. They used to have those jumping bags owned by the city. We don't do those things anymore, man. And that's why, hey man, I got a homeboy. He's part of one of the most notorious gangs. He's a, he's in the hierarchy of one of the most notorious gangs in the city of Chicago. So for people who keep saying these gang dudes don't fear and respect anything, this dude, I know every time I see him, every time we chop it up, I know he is armed. He has a big dumbass gun on him every time I talk to him. I said, he asked me to drop him off somewhere. I dropped him off. I said, man, why y'all don't ever be on this block? You know what his response was? Man, they called the police on that block. <laughs> we got to start doing that. See, we just can't notice it's a problem and then call Jungle Brother on the phone. Yo, Jungle, this is bullshit, man. They ain't dumb, so yeah, rap. This is bullshit. And we go to freeway call with you and Chief Rocker. Now all four of us on the phone talking about this is bullshit. But we need to be talking to the lady next door, the man next door, the old people next door, and getting these people to fuck up out of our community. Because look, we're not gonna eradicate crime by no means. But what we are what we should be able to do is reduce it. And that's that's when your son, your grandson, and your daughter can go outside and have a good time. Otherwise, we fucked. We fucked. Yeah, we talked. Okay. What do you yeah, think man, about? But, um, okay, I'm sorry. Finish. No, no, no. Go ahead, man. I was out. Um, I had lost my. What do you think about? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, what do you think about the gun laws and things of that nature? Um. Well. Illinois has some of the strictest gun laws in the nation, but I mean, it's easy to go to Indiana and, and get uh, a gun. But I mean, like you said, I mean, it's, it's if if you the thing is, what I think is with an uh, issue now, um, you have these kids who are going through this trauma of hearing about or even sometimes seeing people being gunned down. Mm. And I think a lot of these kids, man, and is in these these urban schools, man, they 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 get like that. What they call that when them women post post what they call it post postpartum. Uh, yeah, post, yeah. I'm sorry, man. I'm I'm sorry. That's all good. What <laughs> you talking about PTSD? But I seriously think that is. Yeah, I seriously think that a lot of these kids are traumatized. So mm. when you when you seeing that. And you in the hood, and that's all they talking about. Um, they beating up kids, you know. They, I mean, it was fights when we was in high school. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I went to Lincoln Park where it was a group of girls beating up another group of girls. You know, they never got to the point where they was stabbing or killing each other afterwards. But I mean, it was it was group fights. Don't get me wrong. But now they are just like, it, it was a guy in the bowling alley. Remember that? I don't know what that was, if that was in Indiana or here. But he picked up a bowling ball and hit the dude in the head, man. Like, what What the hell? What the, what's going on, man? But, um, get, get down, big guy. But, yeah, but it's, it's, it, we, we got a long way to go, though, man. Believe it or not, now, as much as I fight against this and I and I say, oh, no, that's some BS, you may even be shocked that it has come out of my mouth if you talked about this. I think that's a product of social media. When, we, that, when you see something once, it's like if you see something horrific once, you go, oh. If you see it twice, you go, oh. But if you see it regularly, you become desensitized yeah. to acts, random acts of violence. I, did. Uh, what, I disagree, that? man. Hold on, let me, let me. I mean, I, I see, I, I see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Let me read this thing from uh, uh, Bama. I was raised in the country. Everybody knew each other. Everybody on my street, we knew all the people we spoke to each other. And if the elders saw you doing something, doing some dumb shit, that person would check your ass on, yep, on uh, and let your parents know. Plus, you knew better. You better not talk. You knew. Plus, you better not talk back when that person was chastising you either. 
we didn't allow anybody to do that. It wasn't that wasn't uh, from there and in that and in, oh, they're uh, from from there. Come in and start bullshit. If you okay, I totally butchered his last line. He said, and, and we let outsiders come in to start no shit either. And that's my point. We gotta re-familiarize ourselves. Let me finish that thought and then I'll let you respond. Uh, thank you, Bama. Uh, the thing that bothers me, the reason I say uh, 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 social media is because we got friends and family members that consistently share acts of violence. And when you see those violent tendencies, I feel it normalizes violence. Like you said, when the PODs and the 40 ounces used to fight back in the day, we was like, man, they crazy as hell. What the hell wrong with them? And, and they would have a big fight, like, in the summer. And then right when school, they had one at the end of school, one at the beginning of school, and then that was it. Imagine if we would have saw them fighting every single solitary day. We would go, your natural inclination, in my opinion, is to go, oh, that's, 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 that's them being stupid again. I'm listening. Okay, yeah. Uh, now, when you say the media, are you including uh, this age of rappers and entertainers? It, it, I, no, I actually said social media, but whoever is sharing these videos with acts of violence. Because when we live in a world where if your daughter is getting jumped, and instead of people, like what Bama said, somebody step in and saying, stop. You got people busting out their phones to record it so they can go up on websites and yell out, world stop. You have lost your entire mind. Go ahead. So yeah. when, when and, and if you see it enough, think about it, man. If you, if you grew up in an environment where women were getting their ass kicked, a woman getting her ass kicked is nothing to you. The rest of us going, hey man, don't let her do that. And you going, oh man, that's just what they do. If you grew up in a drug infested situation where you see people getting high, getting high is not alarming to you. But if you don't, but the, the reason me and Bama saying familiarize ourselves again is when you see Big Illinois daughter getting fucked with, Chief Rocker is going to run across the street and say, uh uh, y'all not going to do this. But we don't have that anymore. We just live. <laughs> Bro, me, me and you hung together for years. And one day my mother said, Where you finna go? I said, I'm finna go over Ann House. You know what mom said? Don't, don't act no fool at Rosie House. I didn't even know my mama knew your mom. Your, my mama knew your mama from mm -hmm. the west side, not from around the crib. I didn't even know that. What's right? So, if, in my opinion, if we really want to stop this, we got to re-familiarize ourselves. And once we re-familiarize ourselves, that the random act of acts of violence would be reduced naturally because you will protect my child. I will protect yours. We will protect our neighbor's child. But we we live in a world now where we can see somebody walk up and beat the hell out of a woman and what we do is hey baby look at this. LaShawn out there fighting that, that, that dude again. And we watching LaShawn to get our ass kicked and don't do anything about it. We see Lil Greg out here selling dope and there ain't no Lil Greg. Do your daddy know what you're doing? It's mm -hmm. just, look, we just sit here and shake our heads because we don't know who Lil Greg really is. But we got to reinvest. In my opinion, we got to reinvest in each other. Which leads me to this next point. How can we fix the black family? Pull out a damn camera. And don't do shit. And Bama, that's what Bama said. Exactly. We watching the destruction of our community and not doing a damn thing about it. And then good people like us, we trying to figure it out. But the easiest solution possible is to just re-engage. To me, if anybody else got another solution, 
Again, please call the mom. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure me and Chief Rock are gonna bring this up tomorrow. Brother's gonna work it out 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm sure. Okay, but uh, I got a, even a better question for you to piggyback I'm off of what you were just saying. How do we reach that group? The people, I mean, I, I think I said this uh, couple, about probably like a month ago on Brothers Gonna Work It Out. What what we saying is good solutions, mm -hmm. but we we send it to the wrong audience. How do we reach these uh, ignorant bastards? Pretty much, cause they is it's me ignorant motherfuckers at this point. <laughs> but how do we reach them? Though? <laughs> First of all, we can't call them ignorant bastards. Well, actually, ignorant no, is this, the this term. Is the ignorant people. Some, <laughs> Listen to me, man. Listen to me, and I, I, some, I'm, I mean, I might. I'm sorry if I offend anyone. Some of these ignorant motherfuckers might have to get left. Oh no! Man, okay. Well, I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to that, man. Because for sure. the people who, the people who are religious, hell, even Jesus said, "I didn't come for everybody. I came for my people." Yeah. Man. So. If, yeah, if the Lord saying <laughs> some leave some of these idiots behind, that's what we we what we got to do. <laughs> and, uh, you got Joe, uh, you got Joe RC and Bama laughing at you, but uh, we <laughs> must we I must mean, unite. The good people must unite and leave, for lack of a better term, the sodomites to who, to who they be. When 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 God told uh uh, uh what's his name uh I can't think of his name right now. Leave and don't look back. I think it was Saul when he told leave and don't look back. If you look back, he's gonna turn to salt. His wife looked back, she turned to salt at the house. I'll catch the rest on demand. Great show, H. God. Thank you, Jungle Brother, for participating, man. Thank you for the support, brother. I'm looking forward to Friday's get down. It's gonna be interesting. Uh, if y'all see the name Jungle Brother, please click on that ad in here. Follow the brother, has some very entertaining, engaging shows, and he does the same thing I do engage, offer opinions. Dope, bro. But you're right. Hey, I have no problem with what you're saying, uh, bro. We can't save everybody. We, I don't want to save everybody because guess what? If if you talking like a dog and walking like a cat, and what I mean by that is, if you saying you down, but you continue to perpetuate the ignorance and, and tomfoolery that's going on, we need to leave your ass. To me, that's the problem. That is the problem. If you look at every story in the history of the world, I ain't even got to leave my fucking immediate family. My cousin Vincent is dead because he didn't want to leave some of his bum ass friends behind. His homie Dee Dee invited him up to Milwaukee and he ended up getting murdered. Dee Dee was a, 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 a God rest Dee Dee's soul too. But Didi was, was not a good person. But Vince felt some type of need to protect Didi and then got robbed and murdered himself. We have to leave the dreads of humanity behind. People who don't want to do better and want better, we have to just say, hey, you know what, h rap I see you still want to smoke cocaine or sell cocaine or rob people. I can't rock with you, bro. But for whatever reason, our community wants to save these people. Some people, you call them ignorant bastards, which was hilarious. And uh, some people need to be left behind, man. If you are a chaotic person who, who has no regard for humanity and other, other things around you, we got to give you the deuces. But we don't want to do that. We want to save all these bums. We can't save all these people, man. We cannot save these damn people, man. You know what? You know the number one reason we can't save them? They don't want to be saved. Because they don't, uh. <laughs> I, I know that's a trick, Daddy Line, but that's real. That is, uh, an E40, man. Uh oh. No, the E40, but it's real. Because <laughs> some people think. Bullshitting and half assing and shucking and jiving is the way to go. 
Some people. Hey, man, that dude E40 was trash. I'm sorry. That's that's. 